Hey folks, uh, Chief Meteorologist Nick Lilia here taking a look at the uh, tropical update for August 17th of uh, 2020. Brought to you by the folks over there at Pine Bell Gutters and uh, Remodeling. Uh, things are getting a little more active. You know, we've been talking about this for the last uh, ooh, couple of weeks now. I believe it's, I think my th first time I, I probably pointed this out was like the 20 something of July. I said, you know, it looks like by the time we get back toward about the 15th, 16th, 17th of August, things are going to start up. And uh, here we are, and uh, there it is. Uh, Josephine and Kyle are uh, long gone, both of them uh, donezo. So uh, up next is going to be Laura, Marco, and Nana as we march down the uh, second column there. Omar and Paulette back in behind it. Uh, currently out into the tropics, there's uh, not much close to home. Uh, we've got a fair amount of activity happening, but most of this stuff is a little bit further away. We've got a cluster of stuff near the Greater and Lesser Antilles. We've got a little bit of trophonous action off to the south of uh, Bermuda. We still have a little bit of lingering circulation happening in here. Uh, some thunderstorms diving into the Gulf of Mexico uh, from the cluster of stuff that uh, moved through parts of uh, the southeast uh, last night. And then even further out and uh, toward uh, Africa, we've got some uh, more activity happening out there. Uh, we've got first area of interest with a 20 to 50 percent chance of development. That's that first little cluster of stuff that's moving into the, into the uh, Caribbean as we head through the next couple of days. We're probably not going to see any true development until it gets a little bit closer to Jamaica and uh, probably a little bit closer to the Yucatan. Behind that, a 30 to 70 percent chance of development on this one that's coming off the coast of Africa. We probably won't see development in here until it gets out into the open Atlantic. Uh, and then, as it kind of points out, it looks like this one may ride a little further off to the north than uh, the first one, which is going to be gliding through parts of the Caribbean. Uh, your spaghetti plots on Invest 97L, that's that first one. Uh, we actually have plots on this one which show it kind of moving toward Jamaica and then from there trying to make a turn off to the north and uh, toward either the Yucatan or Cuba. We'll have to kind of wait and see how things shake out. There is some, some new model data that would suggest that it may not uh, be quite as robust and a little more disorganized and, and may favor, see that ta the tab S that I'm always pushing down here, uh, the tab S does a good job at picking out uh, where things may go if they're shallow or disorganized. But the new model data is showing there's a better chance that it ends up near Belize uh, than it ends up near Cuba. Uh, so a better chance for you guys that Belize is in here and again Cuba is, is up in here. Uh, so a better chance it is closer to Belize than Cuba. Invest 98L uh, was newly minted, uh, and so we don't have as many uh, models to pull off of this one, but as we head through later this week, you can see that it's, uh, it doesn't really matter, big, small, or otherwise. Uh, we got a, a pretty good beat on the fact that it's going to be out into the open Atlantic and not bothering anybody yet. Uh, so where are these two going to go eventually? That's the, the ultimate question, and we have a couple of answers. It depends. Uh, what we're going to be watching over the next few days is a big ridge of high pressure, the big Bermuda High that's out here normally, uh, and where it decides to steer things, because around the ridge of high pressure, air moves kind of like that, and it tends to steer Invest 98L here, 97L here. It, it tends to steer things around. So uh, what happens with that ridge as we head through the next couple of days is going to really dictate uh, where all of these go. At 98L out here, 97L in here. The more stout this ridge stays, uh, the more of a nose that it pokes into parts of Florida will guide uh, both of these toward the Gulf of Mexico a little bit more. So here we go through Saturday, Sunday, and into uh, Monday. And notice how both of these end up in or near the Gulf of Mexico by the time we get toward Tuesday with one of them making you know landfall according to this one model somewhere across the coast of Louisiana and then the one behind it making landfall somewhere around uh, the coast of uh, Texas or Mexico. Now uh, this is just the one GFS model and notice that neither of these are overly robust in here. Now intensity models are terrible more than 72 hours out. But nevertheless, it does show that, you know, something happens with getting these into the Gulf of Mexico because it's saying that the ridge is nosing its way into uh, Florida. Well, what happens if that ridge is not as nosy? Well, let's find out. Uh, you end up with not as nosy a ridge. Here's 98L. Here's 97L. 
and uh, as we kind of watch these things move forward, 97, uh, Pyle drives into Belize here, uh, as you can see, is looks like nothing much more than an invest. At 98L, looks like it does get a, a little better organized, but because that ridge isn't quite as strong, it tends to turn off to the north before making any kind of a a run at uh, the Gulf of Mexico, which is, is some good news. Graphically speaking, this is kind of what that looks like. We've got uh, our question mark here, the first uh, question mark, which is uh, 98, whoa, that's not what I was looking for, 98L, there we go, and here, 97L, not even picked up uh, in this model up at uh, 500 millibars. And your steering flow is dictated by this ridge of high pressure that we have out here. And our European model, which is the one we're using here, does nose its way a little further off to the west when 98L is way back over here. And so you'd say, okay, well, it's going to get pushed into the Gulf of Mexico at this point. However, uh, what ends up happening is that ridge starts to kind of break down and fall apart. Notice we're still nosing at this point and still pointing this thing toward the Gulf of Mexico. However, as we get a little bit closer, that ridge falls apart pretty quickly and we're able to turn uh, 98L or whatever it is at that point uh, off to the north and hopefully away from uh, the United States. I will say this over the last handful of models, uh, model runs between the GFS, the Euro, and the Canadian, a lot of them have shown that this big ridge of high pressure that's out there uh, hasn't been uh, overly robust just in general it just has a general uh kind of run to run uh, uh consistency feel um it hasn't shown uh, that it's been very strong uh, and that's one thing i've noticed over the last couple weeks so anything that does develop will have an easier time uh pushing to the north now with some of the latest data coming in showing maybe a little bit of nosing out here the question then becomes how long does that nose of a stronger ridge hold on we don't have answers today no one does uh, I, I know you're going to see like infinity spaghetti plots over the next couple of days you're going to see you know oh, invest 98l is here and you're going to see like spaghetti on spaghetti on spaghetti on sp i mean it's just you're going to see it's just going to be like a sea of spaghetti it's going to be like you've got a three-year-old again and you went to the italian restaurant and it's just spaghettis all over the place and it's going to look like pea soup on the screen i mean i could keep talking and keep doing this over and over and over again and you're going to see stuff like this don't pick up don't try and pick one line in here and be like oh well I, you know i live in texas so this is definitely the one that's going to happen it, it's not and no one knows uh, you're going to hear from a lot of folks over the next couple of days who know for sure where this thing is going don't believe a single one of them uh because we don't and no one does so uh, there's a look at your tropical update as we head through the next couple of days things are picking up i would uh, highly encourage folks uh, to stay on top of the forecast through the next couple of days um uh, particularly for the next about week as we continue to track 97L and 98L and what inevitably and ends up being uh, something that is named either Laura or Marco or both uh, and uh, stuff that uh, may or may not impact you directly as we head through the next week. Again, Tropical Update brought to you by the folks over there at Pine Bell Gutters and Remodeling.